But you can see there's a physicality difference between the two, even if the heights line up the same. Myers averaging a little over five points per game, but her physicality puts her aside from a majority of the players in the ACC. Florida State on offense first. Here's a look at the starting lineup as the first shot's up and in from Omaria Gordon. Freshman getting the start. First freshman point guard to start at Florida State since 2007. And now a steal from Gordon. Bounces it across. Shot put up by Jones. It's good. Spin the bill and coming into this one. That's her 15th steal on the season. She leads the team in assists, so you know what's coming next. She's the mainstay for this group, leading not just in points, but rebounds as well. She's going to dominate the Qs if Florida State has any success. Inside, Styles puts it up and in, and she headlines this starting lineup at the center roll. But the yellow stripe, liking it. Now it's lobbed over the head of Styles, inside and off the backboard. A giveaway turnover, Syracuse the other way, Murray three, got it! Even when she struggled. Now from the corner, a response from Jones, too strong. Rebound skips over to Myers, puts it in. Couple moves from Hyman, tried to go up and under, but was stripped by Myers under the basket. Gordon puts it up to Puisis, stops and pops, she got it! Switch from Puisis. Puisis on the other end, she's leading the team in three-point makes, now up to 36 on the season. Inside Jones, kicks it out, open three for Gordon, in again! Styles has been shooting the three a little more recently, what does she have now? A drive left, puts it up with the offhand, and puts it in. Baldwin with a good box out under the net. The other way with Bajetti. Kick to the corner, Puisis three! Penetrated the zone that was still a bit in disarray, kicked it out, and that's too easy for a Seminoles team in transition. But Carr answers. From Chrissy Carr, might get her going in this one. Aaron Howard left hand, floats it up, it rolls in. And now every starter has scored in the Florida State lineup. As the first sub we've seen for the Orange. Puis is from deep, too strong. Long rebound to Hyman, turnaround pass, Carr's wide open, and Carr with the left. Hyman trying to push pace again, Christiana Carr gets around Howard, blocked from behind. Huge swat on the comeback from River Baldwin. Now Hyman again trying to get the pace going, Syracuse wants to play with speed, Styles wide open layup. The Orange Claw back to four, they're trying to carry her up and down right now in transition. Alasia Styles, that is. There's a three, but it's blocked away. But Jetty swatted by Hyman, who's still scoreless. Hyman, deep two. There it is. Can they seize back the lead here in the final 45? Carr. That's the time. 18 18. She's been around enough. She knows what good shots and bad shots are, so she trusts herself at all times. Here's a good shot from Carr. That's in. Tisha Hyman, she's had a couple chances. That was not her best, and nearly found a way to put it in anyway. Pajetti, working on Hyman, foul, puts it in. Yeah, head coach Sue Semrau told the media earlier in the week that it was a bit of an anomaly. They were unforced turnovers, but still, you, you can't have unforced turnovers. Who was blocking her out? Chris Linkar. All five foot five of her, another offensive board for Valenzuela, and she puts it in. Kicks it away, Weber three, too strong. FSU started this game two of two from three, two of eight since, and there's a running layup from Carr. For Murray, she's one for six. And that's where she really made her name, out at San Diego State and at Texas Tech. Threes like that in transition. And this is where Syracuse is going to get dominated by the taller team down inside. Drives in the car, finds a cutting Valenzuela, but leaves it a little too far. Murray pushing three on one for the Orange. Elena Rice to the hoop, foul plus the bucket! Elena Rice was clocked! Whip it right back in, reverse layup, Rice no good. And it looked like Christiana Carr might have had a better look than that. Here's Gordon, nobody with her to the hole. Even inside the Satcher game. It is the game for Florida State, who's found Myers, turns around. That's as easy as it'll come over Hyman to end the half. Starters on for the Orange. There's a kick to the corner for Carr. She hit seven in the first half. There's a three contested. Make it ten for Chrislin Carr.
Gordon to Jones inside Myers through contact puts it in. She drew the help of Najee Murray. The leading scorer for Florida State, but Jones with only three today on six field goal attempts. Puisis inside Myers, turns around and shoots, and that's a game high 11. Bianca Jackson. Sixth man on this team. Over to Jones, the leading scorer. Two long steps to the hoop. Carr turned around, scoops it over to Hyman. Tisha to the hole, and she rolls it in. Leads the team in steals per game, assists per game. Not much she can't do, but not totally involved in the offense so far tonight. Here's Bianca Jackson, swish. Styles up to 21 minutes, just sat briefly in this game. Murray with a wild shot, but it goes in, and she was due. Right now, there's a lid on the basket. But Jenny baseline, acrobatic layup. That's the second time we've seen her hang in the air. Five for Bajetti. And a defensive rebound for Christiana Carr. One handed up to Hyman. Two on three for the Orange. Hyman stops and pops and cans. Syracuse in that pit game was trailing at the end of the first quarter, at halftime, at the end of the third quarter, and still picked up a win. Under the bucket, Jones reverse layup, too sweet. She's having much of a bad day either. That would make her less confident. One for three from deep, nine points. Here's Morgan Jones, and that's too easy. Just to lead this orange team for Syracuse to have any success coming off a 30.1 ball game. Was her career high. Here's Jones with two, maybe three steps to the hoop. She puts it in. A lot of the shots she wants, that one wide open. Jones loses the basketball. Here's Syracuse with numbers. Carr with Hyman to her right and Murray in the deep corner. Slows it down inside. Styles was wide open. What a pass. Between Carr and Styles. Don't blink. I mean, Chrislyn Carr, where are you hiding those binoculars? Over to Alasia. Styles puts it up and in in those pretty pink unis. Syracuse wearing those not for belated Valentine's Day, but rather it slows it down with a fresh 20 on the shot clock. You got a mismatch. Hyman in on Gordon, tries to sweep over, puts it in. She recognized the height she had over Gordon. Odell catch there from Carr. He's heading to the hole, up through contact, puts it in. Surprised there's no foul. But Jetty. Uses a screen from Myers, has a lane, but Jetty puts it in. Change of pace and a change of speed when she gets down low. There's a change of speed. Styles just put her on the floor, but Carr couldn't hit the layup. Kick out Murray three. Finally, another three for Murray. Syracuse back to eight. Pivotal time for the Orange. They're full court pressing. Over to Bajetti. Pass across Howard. Open layup. Jones became the 21st All-American in Florida State history last season. Styles with a steal and pull up, good. That's how Syracuse wanted to get out of the timeout. Still being employed, but Bajetti's got a lot of speed. Straight line drive, bounce to Myers, and a land. So nice from Bajetti there to create offense. Dive into the lane and do what you do. Miss there, but Styles gets it back off the rice, rebound. Step back, Murray three, shooter. Najee Murray from range, and she's loving it. Steals per game in the ACC are the cues, but hey, the transition defense has to get better. And it doesn't right now. Morgan Jones and one. FSU winning the rebound battle by 10. Majetti stutters. Now bounces to the corner. Still a little bit of time, but Jones goes inside, and that's a wide open layup for Howard. Settling possessions and for Syracuse, you can't do that. You gotta drive to the lane early and pick up fouls, and it's just not worked out. Easy layup, Jones. Eight games, right? Right off the inbound, a whistle blown, and this one looks to be all about done with under a minute and a half to play. That'll help, though, as the inbound is given back to Elena Rice. Uses a style screen, waits for her to roll, but can't find a pass. Now heading to the hoop, blocked away. Again, Myers. Three day rest, but this is a Syracuse team coming off a win a couple days ago. It has to come right back to the dome with travel and play today. There, I mean, this team had zero expectations coming into the season except who would be your leader.
And it doesn't seem like they found it to a T, but you found a few pieces. And it's funny, they didn't really know what they had in Hyman. She was not a sure thing for the Orange coming into the year. As Hyman goes to the net, spins back, dream shake, rolls it in. Pretty crazy to see where these teams are. They're, they're two of ten programs in women's college basketball to have made the tournament eight times in a row on tracks to not make the tournament this year for very different reasons. It's very surprising for Florida State because they brought back so many faces. For Syracuse, a little less. Crystalline Carr taking a lot of time in the corner before she was fouled, but 13 seconds came off the clock of 27 in that possession. And that's why without anyone there to rebound, Carr gets the free throws. So there's two technical free throws. Then there's two free throws because of the bonus, or a one and one And then Syracuse gets the ball. The multiple offensive rebounds really helped FSU drain clock. Syracuse needs to get going. Carr's going to the bucket, and she can't make the layup. That'll just about do it. Styles fouls. Jones will go to the line. The fouling strategy can only go to an end when you play six players. Now Morgan Jones just adds to her already phenomenal game. You talk about her versatility. Jones is senior, but has another year of eligibility if she wants it. Car to the rack, scores. Now time for the six-point shot. No. <laughs> Syracuse falls 73-67. to 67. The Orange with a shot to get back to 500.